So Patients Like Me is a healthcare company that builds online communities for people with serious uh, life-changing illnesses and we help them to uh, share their data, their patient reported outcomes, their symptoms, the treatments they're taking and uh, find other patients like them so everybody in the network can see everybody else's data. Paul Wicks, a British neuropsychologist, is the head of research and development at Patients Like Me. The company was founded in 2006 by James and Ben Haywood and their friend Jeff Cole as an online outpost for ALS sufferers to share symptoms and advice. Wix scaled up that outpost into a community of people who have been collectively diagnosed with more than 1,000 serious conditions. Now Wix is using that community to develop new approaches to clinical trials, work which led to his selection as the 2011 TR35 Humanitarian of the Year. And he was the first real scientist in the door. He was the guy that really said, okay, this is going to be real. We're going to take this to a new level and, and, and build a world-class research operation. And Ben never met him. So he found him on the internet, interviewed him on the internet, hired him on the phone. He worked with us for five months before we met him. And then we flew him over. And, you know, and it was sort of like a blind date that was matched through this technology that connected us to the best person in the world that could help us solve our problem. Wicks became involved in patient care when he was just 17, tutoring children on the autism spectrum. Later, through making assessments of ALS patients in their homes, he learned how to effectively speak with people facing health issues while learning from them about how they adapted to their condition. For me that really started off um, an interest in, in how different parts of the brain are affected and I ended up um, doing my PhD in neuropsychology which is the study of uh, you know, what different modules of the brain are, are all doing at any one time. Whilst I was doing that in my spare time I was running a website for people with, with ALS or motor neuron disease uh, that were going to our clinic at, at the hospital and uh, was really learning a lot from them uh, through their interactions about how they solve problems every day and it might be something uh, like getting electric toothbrush uh, instead of brushing your teeth manually um, or you know solutions like that that were really sort of uh, jerry-rigged up or MacGyvered and then they became sort of spread and crowdsourced and, and became kind of part of the community it became kind of a wiki of how do you deal with this illness um, so that was uh, something that I worked on for about five years and then as Patients Like Me was starting up, some of the patients that I had on that website were the, were the beta testers for Patients Like Me and so that's how I first came into to contact with the company. Patients Like Me is a data-driven website with a community of people diagnosed with such conditions as cancer, diabetes and HIV. Wix has put powerful tools in the hands of patients, such as algorithms that can generate accurate predictions about how long someone will live or how their disease will progress. However, he believes its most powerful tool is in giving patients access to one another. I think of patients like me as innovative in so many ways. Uh, one that I believe is, is, is a, among the most innovative things that they're, and they really didn't do this again, the power is in the network, that's what's so amazing about it but uh, is a group of patients uh, really doing their own clinical trial. Medicine uh, is, is, comes out, it's on the marketplace, and they took matters into their own hands and decided to do their own study and found something quite different than what originally came out in the published literature. Uh, that's pretty powerful, and that's really uh, patient-driven, patient-centric care, I think, at its finest. One of the important lessons for us was to whenever you go into a disease, you really have to take the patient's word for it as to how that experience is affecting them. And I think that's something that medicine doesn't normally do. I think medicine normally kind of says, well, this disease process is going on and here's the biology and that's how we're going to uh, tackle it. And what we've seen is, is taking it from the patient's experience can sometimes give you a very different view. And what we've been trying to show is that, at least for some people with serious diseases granted, um, that the, uh, the benefits of sharing uh, can, can help not just the individual, but also speed up research, can speed up access to clinical trials, and that kind of thing. So I think we're really sort of um, on the, the first step of a journey to, to challenge the, the notions of, of privacy more broadly in society. And one of the things that would really uh, make, make me very happy is if, if we as a society looked at contributing one's data 
and sharing one's data about their medical condition to be held on a rank with um, you know, donating blood or being an organ donor or, or giving money to charity. You know, it is giving of yourself uh, to some extent for the benefit of others. And I think that we've tried to make that easier and tried to make the benefits more clear um, by using the web. But I think that the, the implications for what we're doing, I hope, can, can go much further than, than just uh, you know, one website.